application by application that we have seen. So the one of the X that Y prime is the one of the things that we have to find is the X, then the power. So that's not the power of the function of the power of the function. So that's what you need to do. You have power and you owe one. So when you give the half the power, you still be owing half. So that's what you need to do. So if you move the output of this, you can shift this on the top of the time line. You have the negative of the time line, x. So that's one, you will have, you are not going to have that one in the R. You will have to go, so the output of the time line is still on the top of the time line. If I shift my negative of the time line, the y prime, 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 because of this minus, we reduce times 1 to 1 and put everything back there. x is not 1 minus 2, then minus 1 to 2. Because of this minus, we reduce what? 1 to 1 and put everything back to 1 minus 2. And then finally, our answer becomes 1 to 1 to 2, 1 and 1 minus 2 can be used with x. Remember, x is equal to 1 minus 2 squared of that one. So minus 1 to 2. X cubed. Now, all these scores will fill up in this case. You see, we have been solving these questions as quickly as possible. Um, so, number four, a lot of the problem is that I think we should not take that. So, a lot of the people are trying to find a question right now. Yes, uh, I'm not going to try and solve this material and try to solve the question. We move to number five. Um, number five, I'm asking like this. How? Now, we think that this is a function of function rule. Well, we teach you how to solve this in less than 10 seconds. As easy as that. So now we have to use this one, okay? So the one that we have to do is equal to what? 3 times 1, 3, right? This is 2 right here, this is 3 times 2. Right? So this is 1, we go change this one. 3 times 1, 3. In bracket, write everything here 3x squared times 2. 3 minus 1, 2 at least. This is not your answer. The answer will be everything times. You can see what is in bracket. 2 times 2. 6x at least, and you can put them, you can say this is equal to So if you write that here, 3 times 6x you change the bracket, 3x squared times 2x plus 2. So you solve this in less than 10 seconds, instead of just doing the normal product formula and the rest. So let's go to the next one. This is also, um, sorry, the normal function of the formula. So this is also a function of function. Yeah, uh, the application of function here. Now we still use the shortcut, get the value of the x of tan by the 4x plus 1. What we we'll just do is differentiate tan x. What do we get? We'll be having x squared x at least. And then what's, what's the value of the x? We have this to be 4x plus 1. Yup. And then that's not all. That's not all. You differentiate what you have in the bracket. Multiply. By the differential derivative of what you have in the bracket. If I shift 4x to 1, you have it as well. 4. So the one of the x will up to 4x squared, 4x squared 1. So in that case, we turn this sharp sharp. There's no sense to this in this center. And then I speed down and this. So now, number 7 is why I got the exponential and x. Now, this is how to solve it. The y of the x. When x differentiate the exponential, nothing changes uh, as such. So you have a good differential than x. The only thing that changes is the coefficient of our variable. How do we get it? We just differentiate the power of x. Differentiate at least we have what? Set square x. And then set square x exponential is x is our answer. So this is just one video in this series of my one to one liking questions, not just random questions, they are liking questions that come out from the future. So if you have to subscribe, do so, encourage us to do more. See, seriously, it's very important. Like this video and then you know your friends need to see this. You know there's a lot of very hard issues with the one to one. These are some posts that will help them. So please do us to share with them. And then don't forget number four, 